So here we are in trigonometry. Here's our next project. Everybody's going to design a piece of jewelry and then make it. And here are the constraints. You're going to, you know, it could either be an earring like this. This is a pentagon with another pentagon inside. And this is a triangle made out of different woods, like a, a necklace. So everyone's going to design and make this jewelry. And then when you're done with it, you're going to hand it to somebody in class. And they're going to take that piece of jewelry, do a full page drawing of it to scale. You probably have to use caliper to find all of the lengths of it. You're going to have to use calipers to find the thickness of it. And then you're going to weigh it. And then you're going to find the density of the part you made. And then go backwards to identify the kind of wood that it was made out of. So you're going to have to use law of sines, law of cosines, area of a triangle, everything you know to figure out the overall area of this, to the volume, then the weight, and then go up to the periodic table of wood here and check the density you have against these densities to identify the wood that it's made out of. Everybody kind of understand the project? It's actually perfect for trig, but it's gonna, you're going to have to use right triangle trig, law of sines, law of cosines, area of a triangle, volume, and then dimensional analysis. Because even though these things are really teeny, um, the densities are actually either in pounds per cubic foot or kilograms per cubic meter. So then you're going to check it to the density chart and figure out what kind of wood it is. Everybody understand what we're doing? Any questions on the project?